Nanometers are tiny plastic particles, ranging from 1 to 1,000 nanometers in size. They are smaller than microplastics. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter, or one millionth of a millimeter. Nanoplastics are small enough to enter the bloodstream of humans, thereby affecting our organs, and not in a good way. An article at SciTech Daily was posted July 20th, 2025, entitled, Shocking! 27 million tons of nanoplastics discovered in the North Atlantic. The subhead, quote, tiny plastic particles fill the Atlantic in staggering amounts. Their effects are only beginning to be understood, end quote. Here's the lead along with an additional sentence to finish the paragraph by referring to a peer-reviewed paper, quote, a major new study by the Royal Netherlands Institute for Sea Research and Utrecht University has revealed that approximately 27 million tons of plastic in the form of ultrafine particles smaller than one micrometer are currently floating in the North Atlantic Ocean. These findings, which provide a deeper understanding of the scale of microplastic pollution, were p recently published in Nature." End quote. I will have more from the peer-reviewed paper shortly. The article at SciTech Daily continues with a quote from a professor of geochemistry at Utrecht University. Quote, there is more plastic in the form of nanoparticles floating in this part of the ocean than there is in larger microplastics or macroplastics floating in the Atlantic or even across all the world's oceans. End quote. Beneath a section titled, quote, First Accurate Measurement of Nanoplastics, end quote, we find this information. Quote, Researchers from the Royal Netherlands Institute for Sea Research and Utrecht University have produced the first quantitative estimate of nanoplastics present in the world's oceans, end quote. According to the aforementioned professor of geochemistry at Utrecht University, quote, there were a few publications that showed that there were nanoplastics in the ocean water, but until now, no estimate of the amount could ever be made, end quote. Continuing in the same subsection, we find an estimate of the amount of nanoplastics. Quote, By scaling up data collected from multiple sampling sites, the team estimated that the North Atlantic alone contains approximately 27 million tons of nanoplastics. End quote. The subsection ends with a quote from the graduate student working on this research project. Quote, a shocking amount, but with this, we do have an important answer to the paradox of the missing plastic. End quote. The graduate student is referring to the fact that scientists have been unable to account for much of the plastic produced on Earth. The findings of this research study indicate that a significant amount of this plastic can be found as microscopic particles in the world's oceans. The next question addressed by the SciTech Daily article is how these plastics found their way to the ocean. This question is answered in a subsection titled, quote, how nanoplastics enter the ocean, end quote, which includes these two paragraphs. Quote, nanoplastics can enter the ocean through multiple pathways. In some cases, they result from the breakdown of larger plastic fragments exposed to sunlight. Other particles are likely carried into marine environments by river systems. Additionally, evidence suggests that nanoplastics are transported through the atmosphere, reaching the ocean either by falling with rain or settling directly onto the water's surface in a process known as dry deposition. According to the professor of geochemistry at Utrecht University, the presence of these particles could have biological effects that extend from individuals to ecosystems and all the way to the world's oceans. Quote, it is already known that nanoplastics can penetrate deep into our bodies. They are even found in brain tissue. Now that we know that they are so ubiquitous in the oceans, it's also obvious that they penetrate the entire ecosystem from bacteria and other microorganisms to fish and top predators like humans. How that pollution affects the ecosystem needs further investigation." End quote. The article at SciTech Daily concludes with a line about the precautionary principle from the professor of geochemistry at Utrecht University. Quote, the nanoplastics that are there can never be cleaned up. So an important message from this research is that we should at least prevent the further pollution of our environment with plastics." End quote. I now turn to the peer-reviewed paper in the renowned journal, Nature. This open access paper was published July 9, 2025, entitled, Nanoplastic Concentrations Across the North Atlantic. 
It was created by five scholars, including the previously mentioned graduate student and professor of geochemistry at Utrecht University. The abstract references eight additional peer-reviewed papers and contains this information. Quote, Plastic pollution of the marine realm is widespread, with most scientific attention given to macroplastics and microplastics. By contrast, ocean nanoplastics, less than one micrometer, remain largely unquantified, leaving gaps in our understanding of the mass budget of this plastic size class. Again, one micrometer is one millionth of a meter. Here, we measure nanoplastic concentrations on an ocean basin scale along a transect crossing the North Atlantic from the subtropical gyre to the northern European shelf. We find approximately 1.5 to 32.0 micrograms per meter cubed of polyethylene terephthalate, polystyrene, and polyvinyl chloride, nanoplastics throughout the entire water column. On average, we observe a 1.4-fold higher concentration of nanoplastics in the mixed layer when compared with intermediate water depth, with highest mixed layer nanoplastic concentrations near the European continent. Nanoplastic concentrations at intermediate water depth are 1.8-fold higher in the subtropical gyre compared with the open North Atlantic outside the gyre. The lowest nanoplastic concentrations, with about 5.5 milligrams per meter cubed on average, and predominantly composed of polyethylene terephthalate, are present in bottom waters. For the mixed layer of the temperate to subtropical North Atlantic, we estimate that the mass of nanoplastic may amount to 27 million metric tons. This is the same range or exceeding previous budget estimates of macroplastics slash microplastics for the entire Atlantic or the global ocean. Our findings suggest that nanoplastics comprise the dominant fraction of marine plastic pollution. End quote. At least they found the source of tiny plastic particles. Otherwise, this information is very inconvenient. Nanoplastics are present in large amounts, yet they cannot be removed from the ocean. Yet another predicament has been revealed. This is not a problem. It cannot be solved.